Now we have Carthage College up here. Head coach Tim Bernero with players Stephanie Kuzmanek and Michelle Wenzel. Coach Bernero, would you like to make a statement about the game? You know, we got off to got off to a good start that we were hoping for. Um, you know, they're tough. They 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 they're hard to guard because they just keep moving and they may they run you through screens and they they've got post up players that more than one. It's they're posting everybody on the floor pretty much. And you know, we were able to get space from them, hold them off at about eight or ten points, and just kind of kind of finish it off. I mean, this time of year, you know, you, you, people talk about what you get in the bracket, who you're playing, and those kind of things. And we know there's a you're not getting an easy game no matter where you go. So, I mean, you know, how hard our bracket is is, is sort of irrelevant. You know every team you're going to play is going to be, you're going to have to play good basketball to win. Tim, one thing that jumps out, they shot 57% in the first half, 25 in the second. Um, was there anything, emphasis on anything, or was it just doing what you wanted to do better in the second half? What we talked about at halftime was I thought we, you know, I told the kids, I said, I thought we guarded them great for 20 seconds. I mean, we took everything away from them for 20 seconds, and then they broke us down, whether it was a, a ball entered into the post or usually off, more often than not in the first half it was off the dribble, and we just didn't commit to getting in front of them and stopping them. I thought in the second half we did a much better job. You know, Michelle got her, got her, got her hands on a couple ones coming down the lane. Steph was down there digging them out. And we just, I thought we made it a little tougher for them to get to the rim and Turn, we wanted to turn them into a little more of a perimeter shooting team, and you know they ended up four for 16 from three, so that was kind of what we were hoping. Stephanie, talk about the you buried two three pointers right away. Um, when you're at home, just was it nice to get the crowd <coughs> energized right away? I mean, this is what you guys played all year. Oh yeah, I mean, we waited four years to you know host this tournament, so to have that home court advantage and have all your friends and family be able to actually be there is you know huge for us so I think the energy just from coming out on that run that we had in the very beginning of the game helps set the tone for the rest of the day so I know you played them last season and mm -hmm. you didn't maybe have the greatest game today yeah. obviously was a, was a much different story was there anything you took away from that game last year oh well you know it was the first game of the season last year yeah. so we were kind of finding ourselves and we had a very new team that was had less experience than we had this year but um they're a physical team. They're tough. They get in your face. They, you know, pull your jersey and get right up in you. So I think knowing that we had to put the ball on the floor, be able to create space, and all of that really helped from last time, last playing them last year. Being great leaders throughout the season, with you having 25 points tonight and then Michelle having 37 last weekend, what's it like to be in that situation? And what, as a team, what gets you to help that person? And I mean, it's just like, you know, they're a fire, so you're going to keep feeding it to them? Or what is your mentality during that entire situation? Well, I think that, you know, you got to take what they give you. There's days when they're out in the guards and then the post opens wide up and Michelle does a great job scoring down there. And then there's days like today when they pack it in the post and we have shots outside. So, you know, we don't really predetermine that. You know, we just come out to play and, you know, use each other and whatever they give us, we got to take. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that's really great about our team is that we have people that can score everywhere on the floor. So if they're taking something away, there's going to be something else that we're going to get from that. And I end up just keep yelling, move the ball, move the ball, and you'll find <laughs> something. So, you know, I, I trust all of them, so I know we just got to keep it moving until we find find where our advantage is. But, it, you know, that's the thing. You, you know, you, you know, tonight was, it was a little more Steph stuff that in last last week was Michelle. And, you know, we just, you know, sometimes for me it's, okay, if that's going, then you just got to, you got to kind of milk that and let them keep going until they can prove they can stop them. And, you know, we've got, got, we got a lot of people capable of doing that. These two have done it in the last two weekends, but you know, you know, we've still got other people that could could jump up and do that for us tomorrow. In the, the intricacies of tournament play, you win. Now you got to turn around tomorrow and play the number two ranked team in the country. Um, I guess you guys can all talk about this, but how do you get ready for such a quick turnaround against a, a, such an outstanding opponent? The you know you spend so much time during the week. You've got from Monday to. To tonight, where you're sitting there and you're trying to be true, where you're saying, "Well, we got to we got to beat St. Norbert first. You got to do that." And, and while you're doing that, you don't want to, you know, uh, you know, if you don't kind of look at Wisconsin Lutheran or hope a little bit on film, and that's what I did, at, you know, at night, at, you know, after practice, sometimes after we put in the stuff for St. Norbert's, because it's like it's like cramming for an exam. All of a sudden, if if, if I got to go from now until tomorrow afternoon when we practice or we shoot around and stuff. And try to figure all that stuff out. That's hard to do. I mean, so you you know, and we have a little history with Hope. There's there's Brian's teams are pretty sim similar. I mean, as far as style of play, they've always got good players. We've had you know, you know, we've played them 
think five or six times since I've been here. And we beat them the last time it was down in uh, Atlanta in a neutral court when they were number one in the country. And it was sort of like the two games you saw tonight. I think it was like 51-47. So I don't know unless things change drastically. I don't think you'll see 85-80 tomorrow. So, I mean, it's both teams are really sound and going to be physical and going to make the other team work to, to score. But it, it's, 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 it's a quick turnaround. It's, you know, but that's, you know, you try to prepare for those things too. When you get ready for tournaments, you go, you know, and you play, we've played a couple. We played the one in Las Vegas and we played the opening weekend. You play Friday, Saturdays a couple times a year to get the, the mindset and get their bodies used to that in case you have to because, you know, from as, long, as far as we're going to go in this tournament, it's going to be Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday. So what do you guys think? I'm I'm ready. I mean, so you you like, yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. like like Coach said, you know, you see number two now, or you see him in the final four. You got to be good teams to be the best. So, um, I'm excited. I know me and Michelle have never played Hope. We haven't been here. We haven't played them or seen them yet. So that should be pretty interesting. But, you know, you got to beat them sometimes. So why not do it now on our home court? We have the best situation we can. Throughout the season, we've talked about having the five seniors. How intricate they are in your program. How has that been helping you so far in the postseason? And what's your plan tomorrow to use them? Yeah, sort of what we were talking about before, offensively a little bit, it goes for the whole game. Is that you, you know, they've been through a lot of stuff. They've won a lot of games, so you trust them to, you know, at times to, to you know, or all the time, but you trust them to, to work their way through stuff. I mean, it's, you know, they, they get, you know, there's always a, a, a food chain there where they've, you know, they earn the right to make a few more mistakes as they go along because I know they know. You know, like your kids, they they know right from wrong, so they, they kind of figure things out. And you know, sometimes you know, I just kind of let go a little bit and say, you know, let them make plays. I mean, obviously that's what that's what it comes down to. These guys can make shots and they can make defensive plays and they can pass the ball. And when you've got five people that have been around for a long time, they you know, there's a there's that kind of understanding. The more you're, the longer you have them for the over the course of four years. Sometimes it's just a, a look and a nod, and they go, I know, I know. You know, those kind of things where you don't have to, it doesn't even have to be as verbal sometimes. You kind of give them a stare, and they go, yeah, I know I did. I know what I did, and then they fix it. So. Sometimes. <laughs> I hope so. Um, just one quick for Stephanie and Michelle. Um, St. Norbert, just some very talented freshmen. Um, you guys know what it's like to spend four years and come out the other side of a program. How impressed were you with, uh, with the freshmen that they had? I, I was really impressed, you know, for them to never have any kind of tournament experience before and to have this close game. I thought they carried themselves very well on the court. Um, I felt that they kept their composure very well. So mm -hmm. I'm sure that team, you know, will be pretty successful in the next years to come. So mm -hmm. they kept taking us, at, taking it at us throughout the game. Yeah. So they didn't give up. Their, their that's their first time in the tournament for most of them. Then yeah, impressive. Yeah, we've, we've been too. there twice, and you know, the senior experience really does help. But. Mm -hmm. For them to come in, you know, only as freshmen and be starting and doing as well as they are, that's awesome for them. Mm -hmm. You're sitting at 25 and three, and you've got hope tomorrow. So. Cool. Yeah, I think that's 25. Might be, I think it might be a school record. So we're we're yeah, gonna keep keep going. And we're, yeah, we want to win win 26 tomorrow. So. All right, keep it going. Good Thanks. Luck. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. To the ice bath. Yep. <laughs> Class dismissed. Yeah. That's one thing.